Are you tired of being ass cheeks at sniping? Do you want to be able to be as good as Bams, Rhyme, or Dep V? Then you clicked on the wrong video, nigga, because I'm not even close. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vaughn back here with another video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you for the massive support on my recent videos, man, especially my settings video. By the time this video goes up, that video will probably be at 1K. You know what I'm saying? I'm manifesting it right fucking now. That shit probably gonna be at 1K. And right now, we are at 93 subs. We are seven subs off from 100. I got a special video for you guys today. It'd be a lot of people asking me how to snipe, you know, how did I get so good and stuff like that. Well, in today's video, I'm going to break down the basics of how to snipe it's not that hard you know so i'm gonna try my best to explain it i'm not the best at explaining stuff but look i just wanted to get this video out for y'all to help some of y'all i know you know my own fair 2 come out in like what three months and you know, it's kind of late to upload a video like this but this may help somebody in the future you know that has trouble with sniping i just figured hey might as well upload the video why not mind you i've been playing since mono warfare 2 so i have a lot of experience and a lot of practice when it comes to sniping have i been sniping the entire time no i'm pretty decent at it i'm not gonna say i'm the best at it but i do have the basics of how to snipe you know what i'm saying how to get better if you enjoyed this video make sure you do leave a like subscribe if you is new to the channel if this video helped you out man let me know down in the comment section below subscribe if you is new to the channel i don't normally promote my twitter but since my old twitter got how i don't know click the link down in the description and go follow me on twitter bro but anyway let's get into the video before i start i just want to let y'all know if y'all want to go to a specific part in the video i will have the timestamps in the description below but the first thing that i want to get out of the way is the attachments for most of the snipers that you use in the game like the tundra m82 swiss and peloton you really use the same attachments on that sniper i mean people got their own personal purpose or what they want to use on the sniper but the main attachment are kind of spread across those four snipers. The ZRG, you just use a different barrel, which is the rapid fire barrel. You have a faster fire rate. But let's get into the attachments. First attachment is Tiger Team Barrel. This is the barrel that you want to use. You get the most damage with this barrel. Tiger Team Spotlight. You want to use this because, read the description with me, powerful spotlight with a longer reach and beam reveals enemy data from a longer distance. It's a lot of people that's going to accuse you of having walls when really it's just attachment right here. You see them before they see you. And sometimes this is attachment glitches and you can see they red dot literally through a wall if they close enough to you this attachment by itself is a cheat code if you want to use it use it if not you can use laser sight most people use laser sight it's kind of personal preference like i said magazine you want to use a seven round mag that way you don't lose no ads speed or you lose reload quickness the handle you want to use serpent wrap you get the most ads speed with this as you see the speed bar goes down when you go to airborne elastic wrap so serpent wrap you get the most ads speed with using this wrap and stock you want to use raider pad now i see most people use marathon pad if you want to use marathon pad or raider pad it's just you know there's i just that's what i see people using sometimes now if you want a different variation of this i give you one you can take off stock and you put on infiltrator grip or you can put on bruiser grip it really don't matter you can put on either or if you put on bruiser grip you know what i'm saying you get three percent but you put on infiltrator you get five percent it's whatever you want you can choose between the two but that's just the other variation that i use when i'm sniping now the second thing we're going to talk about is settings these are the settings that you want to use but most of these settings you kind of want to take your time and then just bump up as you go for instance like sensitivity with sensitivity i started off at 12. i started off at 12 sensitivity then i bumped it up 0.5 every single time 12.5 13 13.5 once i got to 13.5 it started feeling like 14 a lot more so you know, I just went straight to 14 right after I went straight to 13.5. My ADS low zoom is one and my high zoom is a 0.95. Now, this right here is kind of like personal preference. You kind of just adjust it to where it feel good for you. Like right here, this feels perfectly fine for me. You know what I'm saying? Just mess with this setting a little bit and just do it until it feels good for you. My button layout, I play tactical. If you see my settings video, you see I don't have back paddles. I don't have none of that. I have a regular standard PS5 controller controller and i just play tactical i don't play flip i play default and response curve type is dynamic bro when i switched to dynamic i swear to god it just felt like my aim assist was 10 times stronger when you in like a fight with two or more people your aim assist is going to be a little bit too strong and you might shoot in between them or nowhere near them i'm letting you know you just kind of got to get used to it when you're using this one my target aim assist is on of course i play with aim assist like if you play without aim assist then you demon 
point blank period like you just that nigga target aim assist mode i play with precision when you're sniping you want to put on precision see as you see precision says strong aim slow down that only kicks in when aiming closer to a target best for accurate players you are sniping turn this setting on i promise you a lot of things will change for you it is aim assist is on of course now my left stick minimum input threshold is at zero like i said in my settings video somebody came on my stream and told me to turn this on zero since i had got a new controller and i promise you i have felt more smoother than i have before so if you want to try this i would turn this down to zero now if it don't work for you i kind of bump it back up to where it was or kind of just play with it until you get a nice smooth feeling in your movement now let's get into the actual key tips that most of y'all need when it comes to sniping okay next thing we're going to talk about is centering this is like one of the most important things when it come to sniping when it come to aiming in general centering is your best friend you want to learn how to send the aim when i say send the aim do you see your car so do you see this dot in the middle of your screen keep that shit in the center don't look down don't look up you know i say keep it centered always when you're running keep it centered at all times i'm gonna give y'all a couple examples of centering your aim and always keeping it centered that way you will most likely hit your shots all the time okay i put some bots on to give y'all like an example of what it means to keep your aim centered as you can see i'm keeping my crosshair in the middle of my screen at, oh I'm sorry, i suck keep my crosshair in the middle of my screen at all times so this is exactly what you want to do while you're sniping or just like i said just aiming in general you always want to keep your crosshair in the middle when you always centered you're guaranteed to hit your shot keep your aim centered you're gonna hit your shots guaranteed this is one of the first things you kind of want to practice when it comes to sniping is centering or you know like i said aiming in general you always want to practice your centering because i've been seeing a lot of people every time they shoot it's always this they always aim down no just keep your analog stick right there bro people need to learn how to have like complete control of their analog stick a lot of people don't have complete control of it because nine times out of ten they always flicking it they they don't have their thumb on the stick at all times in order to have full control yes you will miss sometimes you know it'd be like that not everybody has 100 percent perfect aim the more you practice this the more you'll get the hang of it hopefully i explain centering to the best of my ability for y'all it's pretty self-explanatory to be completely honest with you like i said always keep it centered boom okay another key factor i believe is something that people should know when it comes to sniping is how to aim in faster a lot of people be wondering how most snipers aim in faster now i'm about to give you you know what i'm saying the t i'm gonna spill the t to y'all you know what i'm saying this is top secret information all right you just spam l2 that's that's all you do you just spam l2 and you know in most kill cams when it look like someone's sniper scope is twitching that's them spamming l2 that's exactly what it is you just spam l2 and it kind of gives you the pre-aim advantage when when it comes to sniping or when you in a pub match or snd anything it gives you the pre-aim advantage because you spamming l2 to aim in faster i'm gonna show you what it looks like in kill cam for those who don't know or those who seen it before but just did not know what it was but it's basically you just spamming l2 this is all you're doing don't spam it like that you, you you're not really you know what i'm saying clicking it like this you really just you know what i'm saying just tapping it a little bit you know i'm gonna show you like i said i'm gonna show you in kill cam you see you see how it's glitching like that that's me just spamming l2 like i said you don't want to sit there and click it like crazy you kind of just want to put your fingertip on the tip of the, wait pause you just want to put it on the tip of the trigger and just kind of like tap it down a little bit and just spam it like that okay the next thing that i feel like is another key when it comes to sniping is movement and reaction time if your reaction time is terrible you kind of need to get better at that movement is not something you need to focus on when you first start off sniping like i said you need to focus on your centering you know what i'm saying get your sensitivity right get your settings right get all this shit right and then you know you can work on other things that's not as important as the other stuff like i said my movement on this game hasn't been all good like i honestly i just started sniping a few months ago kind of like at the beginning of the year my movement just got better over time which kind of leads me to the last and final tip is bro just practice i promise you because i see a lot of people asking you know the bigger youtubers and shit the bigger snipers on how to get better at sniping and they gonna tell you the exact same thing i just told you you know what i'm saying and just practice bro if you keep practicing i promise you you're gonna get better over time just go into private man they put bots in the game for a reason for you to practice you know what i'm saying your aim or with anything with red gun anything 
you can use custom games for literally anything just to get better bro but number one thing in my opinion is constantly practice bro if you don't practice then you're just not gonna get better if you just sit there and constantly give up because you having one bad day you know what i'm saying that sniping let's say you're in a pub game you're just doing bad that's okay bro not everybody has a good time on the game you know what i'm saying like some people have bad days i know i definitely have bad days when i get on the game like my shot be completely off and then some days my shot be crispy as hell but like i said bro just keep practicing you know what i'm saying stay consistent with it and also, like I said, I know Model Fair 2 is coming out in like three months, but I promise you this may help you in the future because this kind of goes across all Call of Duties, like centering your aim, practicing, movement and reaction time, sensitivity, certain attachments that you got to use that carries across all Call of Duties. I hope this video help some of you guys out that want to get better at sniping like i said if you got any questions bro just ask me down in the comment section below just join my discord and ask me and i you know what i'm saying help you out just follow the steps in this video practice and you will be 10 times better than you was yesterday so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe if you is new to the channel if you have a friend that's struggling with sniping you know send them this video it might help them out i hope it does make sure you do go follow me on twitter like i said i had to make a whole new twitter because twitter locked my old twitter so make sure you do go follow me on twitter do go follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash i big volume but yeah anyway i'll see y'all in the next video